Welcome to another episode of Faith Explorations, the podcast where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. I'm your host, Kenneth Garcia. In episode 55, we're going to explore the concept of divine testing with the title, The Gift of Trials, Unlocking Deeper Spirituality. What does it mean when God tests us? How can we understand these tests and find strength in them? But our exploration doesn't end here. For more insights that can enrich your journey of faith, be sure to visit us at BibleKeeper.com. So without further ado, let's dive in. When God tests us, He does something truly valuable for our spiritual growth. Throughout our lives, we encounter various tests, but the most important ones come from our Almighty Father. So if you've ever wondered whether God tests us, the answer is a resounding yes. God's tests are meant to reveal the strength of our faith. He ordains these tests not for His sake, but for ours. Passing these tests is a significant achievement for us as Christians, and it comes with a glorious reward for those who demonstrate unwavering devotion to our Lord. What exactly is testing, and why does it sometimes feel negative? In different situations, tests can cause panic and anxiety, especially when they seem overwhelming. However, a test is simply a tool used to assess a person's capacity and qualifications. It can take the form of questionnaires or actual activities. Sadly, some people dismiss the importance of tests, believing they reveal their shortcomings and prevent them from focusing on other matters. But avoiding tests hinders our growth and prevents us from improving ourselves. This is true in our relationship with God as well. Embracing God's tests strengthens our bond with Him and deepens our faith. The Bible uses different words to convey the idea of test. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew word bakan is used, meaning to examine, investigate, or prove. In the New Testament, the Greek word dokimazo is translated as test, signifying approving someone through examination. God's testing is not intended to make our lives difficult, but to serve an important purpose. As James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 explains, encountering trials of various kinds tests our faith and produces steadfastness, making us perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. At first, we might not have a strong faith when God tests us, but these trials are opportunities for our faith to grow deeper. As our faith strengthens, hardships and suffering will not shake our devotion to our Almighty Father. Now you might wonder, why does God test us? These trials serve a vital purpose, which is to achieve spiritual maturity. God's tests are not arbitrary. They are designed to refine and purify our faith. As we endure and remain steadfast under trials, we receive the ultimate reward, the crown of life, as promised in James chapter 1, verse 12. Throughout the Bible, we find examples of people who were tested by God. Take Abraham, for instance. He was tested when God commanded him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Abraham's unwavering faith and obedience proved his devotion to God, and he was blessed abundantly. Similarly, when the Israelites wandered in the wilderness, God tested them to see what was in their hearts. These tests were not meant to harm them, but to strengthen their faith and prepare them for the abundant life that awaited them in the promised land. Signs that we are being tested by God can include moments of confusion and uncertainty feelings of stress and anxiety, and situations that reveal our weaknesses. These trials are opportunities to prove our genuine response to God's calling and to grow in our relationship with Him. However, many people fear God's testing thinking that it is punishment. But in reality, facing these trials head-on provides us with an opportunity to reflect on our morals and character. Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 9 to 10 reminds us that God searches our hearts and tries our minds to give every person according to their ways. Instead of fearing these tests, we should view them as opportunities for self-examination and spiritual growth. They are a testament to God's care for us and His desire for us to become stronger and more faithful. As Christians, we can rejoice that God gives us these trials to build our faith and bring us closer to Him. Through Christ's teachings, we can navigate the wilderness of testing and emerge as stronger believers. Our faith produces steadfastness, helping us endure these tests. And ultimately, we can trust in God's Word to guide us to the kingdom of God. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Faith Explorations. We hope it sheds some light on the significance of God's tests and how they play a crucial role in our spiritual journey. 
If you enjoyed today's discussion and want to explore more topics related to spirituality, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And visit us at BibleKeeper.com for more resources that will enrich your faith journey. Join us next time as we continue to explore matters of faith and spirituality. Until then, may God bless you abundantly.